this is something new. So I currently have this drawing app where I've set it up so that I can make all these different tools. Um, and then they're all called brushes. I'm going to say that I want to um, take this picture of a bicycle that I found online and stick that bicycle as one of my brushes. So you can draw with a bike instead of triangles and squares. So um, kind of my first step, I'm just going to take one of my existing drawing circles and copy and paste it. And I'm going to rename this one. Um, it gets mad when I copy paste because I'm not allowed to redefine things. Draw bike. Alright, so now I made a function called draw bike. Currently it just draws a circle because I copied the circle function, but I'm going to make it draw a bike later. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just get a button that draws a second circle. Now, why am I bothering to do this first? Um, because when you're trying something new, it can be really annoying if it turns out that like you can't even test it because you made a typo in setting it up or something like that. So first of all, I'm just going to make sure that I can get that draw bike function running and then I'll make the draw bike function actually work. So I had to, I actually had done this demo before. So um, I had to add an import that imports my draw bike function from my drawings, my brushes, I call it in this drawing program. And then I use my little make tool button. Um, your code will look different. And right now, you know, my bike and my circle do exactly the same thing. So cool, I made that work. Um, I guess you might be like a little skeptical that you actually made it work. So maybe I'll make my bike a half circle. I'm just gonna remove the times two on pi there. And, okay, now I really know this function is really running when I press that bike button and then click. So that's kind of my setup. Next step is going to be to figure out how to draw an image. Now you might Google Canvas draw image, something like that. Um, but this is a little bit complicated. So I'm just going to go over and show you the documentation. Um, if I look at the docs, it says Canvas Rendering Context 2D, draw image. All right, and the syntax, there's a bunch of options. You can give it just an X and a Y to put the image at, X and a Y width and a height, or you can give it the source X and Y, like where to grab the image from source width and height, and then the X and Y and width and height. So if you just wanted to copy a piece of an, a piece of an image, there's a way to do that. But the most important question is, how do I put the image in there in the first place? And here it says, oh yeah, it's an element to draw into the context. Um, and then it tells you there's all these different kinds of elements. So you could, you can actually draw another canvas. So this is a, um, this is a trick if you had a complicated drawing and then you needed to move it around, you might actually make a canvas and then copy from one canvas to another. And then there's an HTML image element. So um, an HTML image element is just an element like any other we could create. Um, so you've got kind of two options for this. One is to do it with JavaScript and the other is with HTML. I'll go ahead and show you both ways. So if you wanted to do this with just HTML, um, the way you make an image element is somewhere in your HTML, you would go ahead and it's IMG. And then source equals would be the source of the image. Now that is a URL that points to where the image is. And we can point on our local server if we just upload the image file ourselves. Um, so what I'm going to do here is upload the file. And there I have my file and downloads. Um, and I recommend once you have the, sometimes people will make, like if you had a program with a lot of images, you can make a folder for it. I'm gonna go ahead and rename the file bike. Um, and actually I'll go ahead and make a folder just for good practice. Um, and I'll call it assets you'll sometimes see. Um, that's if you were to have like a bunch of image files and sound files, it's sort of like, here's all the stuff I need, but you could call it images, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and then the URL for the image becomes the slash is like the root we call it and then the folder name if I put it in a folder and then the file name and it's worth renaming your image something easy because any typo in this file name will break your image all right when apparently I broke my app sometimes if you change the HTML the like auto reload magic kind of breaks so I'm just gonna run it again here Cool, and you saw before the canvas got styled up, 
there's the image showing up right away. The last thing we'd want to do is just hide that image because we don't actually want it to show up. So we would do display none. And now we have an invisible image showing up. Um, and then we would have to give it an ID and grab it in our JavaScript. So I can call it bike. That's reasonable. All right, so that's in our HTML. Um, that's a little annoying because it kept breaking my code. I had to stop and reload and stop and reload. All right, there we go. Awesome. Now I'm going to go to brushes. And I have to grab the bike in this code. So let bike image equal. And I can use, we've seen this before, but you might not have really have used it. Cory selector lets me reach into the HTML and grab something. And then hashtag is the ID. So I can say Cory selector, hashtag bike. And now my bike image is being stored in this handy dandy variable. Okay. Now the last thing I have to do is instead of CTX arc, I'm going to do CTX draw image. And it takes the image, so bike image. And then it's going to take the X and the Y. In this case, this function is designed to be called with an X and a Y. So it's going to draw it to that X and that Y. Um, it's complaining because it doesn't know that this is an image element. Um, I can tell TypeScript this is an image element by putting a colon and HTML image element. And that'll make that red squiggle go away. It didn't actually make any change in my code. It just told TypeScript what I was doing. Cool. Now when I click, the image is drawing from the top left corner. Um, so one problem here is the width and the height are off. So a few more things. Um, if I want to draw it to a given size, like I have a brush size in this project, so I'm going to use brush size and brush size as the width and height. Um, and then I want to put it in the center, so I'm going to subtract brush size over 2. That's just for my code. You might have it different, but that's going to move it over. So like if the brush size is 20, this is going to move it over 10 and then draw 20, so it'll draw right in the center of where I click. That works now. Um, and if I make this brush size bigger, you can see that my bike is distorted because it's. I told it to draw the bike a certain size. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I can scale this um, if I want. And the way to do that would be to find my image file. I think it's roughly three by five. So I'm just going to take the height and multiply it by three fifths. That, that's not, I should look up the pixels, but I don't want to slow the video down. So I think that will be close. See how I did. Oh yeah, three fifths was too <laughs> too small, but it was close. Let's try three and a half fifths. I really should have looked it up. All right, and that's the idea. I told you I would show you how to make the bike. So now I can even draw. You know, I can draw with the bike however I want. Um, so that's draw image. One other thing, if I didn't want to edit the HTML. I could instead create this whole thing in JavaScript. Um, and a good example of how we do that would be like in the original canvas file. If we look at that file, I grab this app from the document and then I create a canvas and then I add the canvas. So I'm just going to do it that way too, just to show you. Um, in this case, I'm going to add two bike images, but I'll remove them. So I need to grab, Oh, the app from Canvas. And then instead of that, I'm going to say let bike image equal document dot create element img. That's going to create my image element. And then I can just, the way that I would set the source, I just say source equals assets bike.png and then I can set that style with bike image dot style dot display 
equals none. And then the last thing is I have to add it to the app. So I can say app dot append child bike image. All right. And make sure I got that all right. That worked. Um, just so if I drew it with JavaScript, I do not need to draw it also with HTML. So I can take that out. And um, you'll see there's different styles of writing code where you either, some people, like if you've taken my web design class, you might be very happy editing HTML. But if you haven't worked with HTML at all, that's probably going to annoy you each time you have to go into HTML. So it can be nicer instead of writing these tags to just go ahead and create all the doc, create the things using JavaScript. It's the same difference. You can create it in JavaScript or create it in HTML. Here I am just creating that tag and then adding it. Um, it's going to be the same to the browser when the day is done. And this will draw it and put it there. All right, awesome. Um, well, I won't go into the details yet of how you would create a canvas and um, use the canvas as the image. But you could imagine if you made a complicated drawing, you can also copy that using draw image. So draw image generally is going to be faster than doing some sort of complex drawing because you can draw the whole thing once and then copy it over here. All right, all set.